What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. It's your boy Dominic Rich and in today's video, I'll be giving you an update on the head coach situation for the Turkish national team. We know recently that their head coach Sinol Gunish, the man who took them to third place at the 2002 World Cup, was sacked after a string of poor results. They qualified for Euro 2020, but placed bottom of the group. They even placed last in the entire competition. They were just horrible seeing that they went into the competition on very very good form but i think that draw against latvia was some type of indication that this turkish team was on a downward spiral so with senel gunish sacked parted ways with the national team there has been new circulating around the hiring of stefan kuntz yeah his name is pronounced kuntz okay get your mind out the gutter so this article reads and it says Kunt speaks on Turkish head coach job there is no decision to announce yet so we're just going to run to this article and get the latest on what's going on with the Turkish national team head coach situation addressing multiple reports surfacing in the German and Turkish media on Tuesday Germany under 21 head coach Stefan Kunz announced that he has not yet decided whether to take on the Turkish national team job just yet and that is Kunz pictured right there on the 21 coach for the German national team when the Turkish national football team parted ways with Senel Gunish after the most recent international break TFF executive Hamid Altintop began steps to take the country's football program in a radically different direction Gunish like colleague Fatih Terim had been in charge of the Crescent Stars for multiple stints. The country's FA has hired some foreign, foreign trainers, Goose Henning and Mircea Luchescu, to run the team in recent years. But domestic figures have predominantly served as head of the program since German Pep Piontek ran the team in the early 90s. If most reports are to be believed, this is about to change. Hamid a Bundesliga veteran alongside twin brother Halil have apparently called in a favor to an old friend. Germany under 21 head coach Stefan Kunz appears poised to make the jump to Turkey just like he did late in his playing career. Former FC Kaiserslautern captain Kunz played with Besiktas Istanbul for a year during the 95-96 season. After returning to Germany to finish his professional days, Kunz then coached the Karlsruher SC and worked with Kaiserslautern sporting director before settling in with the DFB in 2016. The 58-year-old Kunz has made it known that he's reached the limits of his objectives working in the German national team system. He led the German under-21s to both the 2017 and 2021 European Championship crowns. His 2019 team also reached the final. Kunz's name was floated for the vacant Bundes trainer position after Joachim Love officially resigned last spring. After the German FA opted to go with Hansi Flick instead, Kunz seemed to bemoan the task of coaching the country's Olympic team. A call-up virtually all German talent seemed disinterested in. Kunz confirmed that he had, at the invitation of the TFF, traveled to Istanbul for talks related to the team's vacant head coaching position on the Germany's Associated Press on Tuesday evening. In an official statement relayed to the Deutsche Press Agentur that only initial talks had taken place. At the invitation of the Turkish Football Federation, I was in Istanbul for initial talks, Kunz said, but there is no decision to announce yet. You could see a boarding pass here with Stefan Kunz's name and he went to Istanbul. So he did go to Istanbul and he is in talks to become the Turkish national team head coach. Guys, Turkey needs help. They need a lot of help. And I'm going to just show you why they need a lot of help. These are the standings in the European qualifiers right now. Let me just scroll down to Turkey. They need help. Six games, three wins, two draws, and a loss. But that loss came against the Netherlands in their most recent game where they lost. I think that was a 6-1 loss, if I'm not mistaken. We go right down here. And yeah, 6-1. And that prompted the dismissal of Sinal Gunish. So 
they need help man they need help because the upcoming matches aren't gonna be easy and you take a look at the upcoming games right here turkey they will play norway that's a big game turkey will play latvia who knows if they'll pick up three points against latvia after that three three draw earlier you know what i'm saying and they, they have montenegro to play where they drew two two with montenegro earlier you know what i'm saying so look they will beat gibraltar but the game against montenegro latvia and against norway i don't know man i don't know turkey they're in trouble then they're, they're in real trouble is stefan Kuntz the man to save turkey who knows who knows he just might go through a honeymoon period and get the job done but let's see you know they come out they say yeah only initial talks i think stefan Kuntz would be the the next head coach of turkey he will be he will be he's saying oh man you know uh, he want to take the pressure off himself he will be the next manager and when the announcement is made i'll come back to talk about it but guys this is an update for the world cup qualifiers for qatar 2022 involving the turkish national team let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below subscribe if you're new and from your boy dominic rich until next time peace out rich squad was it the right decision to sack sino Gunish? yeah yeah the turkish team needed a refresh man they, they weren't on the right path